Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay and I am the artist behind Coloring Bliss. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to our, let's see, first impressions and review of the Pelican Color Pencils. That's these right here. They were sent to me by the awesome people at Pelican to review for you guys. And I'm excited to give my first impressions and review. As always, whenever a company contacts me and asks if I'll do a review of their products, the first thing I tell them is that I always do an honest review whether the products are sent to me or not. So you can depend on me for my honest first impressions and an honest review. So um, guarantee that to you guys first thing. So these are the products that were sent to me. Um, what's awesome about what they sent to me is they sent me a bonus pack of 12 pencils that I am excited to give away to you guys. So thanks Pelican for sending an extra 12 pack. Yay! So in the description of this video, I have included a link that will take you over to a blog post on my website. On that blog post is the giveaway with lots of different ways to enter. You've got plenty of days to enter for the giveaway of this 12 pack of pencils. So don't feel like you have to jump over there right this minute to enter. The contest ends, ugh, I should have written that date down. Was it May 30th? Yep. May 30th at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Like I said, we gave you plenty of time to get in for the entry of this giveaway, and I'll probably throw in a few bonus coloring pages for you guys on my favorite color pencil paper, so you can look forward to a few surprises if you win this set of pencils. Don't forget I promised them that, okay, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> and I've got Steve here to help me with the comments as they come rolling in. We're going to try to stay on topic during the next hour or so, talking about the Pelican products. If you have any extra questions beyond the Pelican products, join me Wednesday nights. We're here every Wednesday night for our live events. We do an hour over on Facebook, on my Facebook page, and then we do an hour here on YouTube. That's a great time to come and just ask me any old question you wanna ask. But right now we're here to talk about the Pelican products. Before we dive into the color pencils, we have several other Pelican products that they sent to me that I get to talk to you guys about. All of these products, Pelican has also very generously given all of you guys a discount code over on Amazon. All of those codes are included in the description of this video as well. So make sure you use those links so that you get your discount codes. I think even one or two of them are a 50% off discount code. So they're not just like a 10% off little baby code. These are good codes. So thanks Pelican for doing that for my viewers. You guys are awesome. So make sure you hit like and make sure you're subscribed and make sure you share it to someone else that you think might enjoy a code like this or enjoy my channel in general. So uh, let's get started. Um, they sent a couple other, besides the color pencils, they sent some awesome pencils that we're going to try. These are graphite pencils. They're HB, which I think is a number two pencil. So we're going to test these out real quick to see how these are. And there's a code also in the video description for their um, pencils, the Pelican pencils. And then they also sent some very interesting looking crayons that we're gonna crack into and try. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. We've got lots to test. We're going to get through the tests on these two as quick as possible so we can get straight to the color pencils which is what I'm most excited to try. So are there any questions or comments I can answer right away, Steve? No. Okay, cool. I think let's start right here with these pencils. On the back, there is all kinds of languages. Uh, Pelican is a German brand, so we get lots of different languages when we see the packaging come from Pelican. Uh, when we scroll down, I have to say scroll because that's the way I think now. <laughs> When we move down the package, it comes to, and it says easy to sharpen, which we like, breakage resistant leads, and it has a soft eraser. There's nothing I hate more than when you buy a package of brand new pencils and those erasers are hard as a brick. Am I right? Like you go to the store and you buy brand new pencils and you can't even erase with the erasers because they're hard as a brick. So we're gonna check and see if these pencils have a good soft eraser. When I was looking at these pencils on Amazon, let's see, let me tell you how much they were. 
This pack of pencils um, on Amazon was selling for $9.23. That's US dollars. Um, but they do have that coupon for us so you can try them out. I think that was a 50% off coupon. So right now, I don't know how long the coupon's going to last. Right now you can get them for $4.23 for this pack of 10. Yep. 10 HB pencils. It says that the leads are super bounded inside and that they are supposed to be easy to race. So let's check them out, try them out and see here. Um, and they're pre-sharpened. I was a little worried about that for a second. Let's switch camera view so you can see what these look like. Oh, it always takes me a minute to get used to where the camera is. Here's that eraser and it is soft. I'm so glad. Um, it feels like a hexagonal shape pencil. It's blue and it has the nice lines on it. And yes, it's a number two. Uh, it says HB number two with the silver writing on it. So that's good. Um, if you buy a set like this and your kids steal one from you, you know they can use it at school for their, their tests that they do here in the US when they always need a number two pencil. <laughs> okay, so let's move this aside. And I'm going to write out here that it's a Pelican. HB or number two pencil. And let me zoom in and we're going to test this um, eraser. I love a good eraser. Right now my favorite pencil to purchase, and I've used this one so much that the um, silver paint is wearing off. I purchase all the time the Dixon, oh I don't ever know how to pronounce this, Ticonderoga, is that how you say it? The Dixon Ticonderoga number two pencils are the ones that I'm always purchasing lately. So we're going to kind of compare it to these ones. I use them until the erasers are gone, as you can see. And then I end up having to put a, you know, a replaceable eraser on the end. So we'll compare it to my favorite number two pencil. So I'm going to just lay down a little bit of graphite and see how the eraser does. So I'm just doing medium pressure. I don't want to like really push in here and see what it does. Okay, now let's compare it to my favorite Dixon pencil here. Well, <laughs> that Dixon pencil is feeling really scratchy compared to that Pelican one. That's kind of surprising to me. And then we'll erase it off. Same pressure I'm using. Okay, take away that. Okay, I think that um, the Dixon was actually scratchier. It felt a lot scratchier. Let me write Dixon next to it and see how it feels. Yeah, I think the Dixon one is feeling scratchier. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised. I thought they'd feel exactly the same, Steve. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Okay, well, you know, in even in the pencil world, pencils are not created equally. When you go to an art store, like a not just a craft store, if you go to an art store and you go to where the graphite pencils are, um, there's like a wall, huh, Steve? Oh, it's a ton. A wall mm. of graphite pencils. <laughs> and so not all graphite pencils are created equally. And I'm I'm actually quite impressed with the Pelican pencil here. It's writing softer and smoother than my favorite Dixon pencil. So now the Dixon pencils are really well priced. Um, you can get a 30 count on Amazon right now for $6.49. So that's a really good price. And that's probably why I've been defaulting to the Dixon Ticonderoga pencils. So anyway, Pelican's a little bit more pricey, but it's a lot softer. And right now with the 50% off coupon, it's pretty good bargain for their, their pencils. So good job, Pelican. Okay. Any questions on the, the graphite pencils? Nope. Okay. Let's move on to these very strange crayons that they sent me. <laughs> I'm very interested in these. Check them out. First thing I thought of when I saw these was, um, 
You know those uh, Venetian long nose masks? Yeah, that's that's what I thought of too. That's the very first thing I thought of. And then I this has got some German on it, and so I didn't know exactly what they were going for. And so I read some of the emails they sent, and then I went on Amazon. What they're going for is a mouse, is what they we're going for is a mouse shape but all I can see when I look at them is those mm. Venetian long nose masks yeah I don't see mouse in that at all maybe yeah. when you take it out or something yeah we'll take it out and see if we see mouse better so they're supposed to be ergonomic and really easy for small kids who haven't learned how to hold pencils correctly yet give them a chance to hold on to a crayon and color you know when you see a kid grab a crayon or a tool in the beginning they just grip it you know they just grab onto it and hold it and start using it so that's the idea behind these crayons when you see the little um pictures on it see right here you can see how they're imagining little kid hands would use it so i'm going to imagine that i'm a little one year old or even younger and we're going to pretend and hold on to these little crayons and see what we think so let's see how these go. Now, let me tell you a little bit about them, what I've seen so far. We're gonna flip views. I don't want you to have a close-up view of me struggling with the packaging. Because <laughs> I think I'm gonna be struggling for a minute here. Rose is snoring. Can you guys see her back there? This is Rose, my little um, white Maltese dog, and she's snoring. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to appreciate the fact that... Oh, she popped her head up. Did it get quiet? You wanted to see what was going on? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to mock your snoring, but it was awfully cute. <laughs> we should have... What we'll have to do, maybe, is... I have um, two little nieces that are just the right age for crayons like this. So hopefully we'll be seeing them really soon. And I'll have each of them test these out they're both about one years old they would be perfect oh, age yeah. to try these out and i'll see if they naturally grab them the right way and use them and see how they like them they would be perfect testers so i'll put them in one of my um special color pencil zipper bags i have you know i buy those really cheap ones they're not special at all i think they're special because i love them so much I'll put them in there, keep them in my purse that I carry with me everywhere, and the next time I see them, I'll pull them out and have them test them, and I'll do a follow-up um, and let you know how they use them. Now, the other thing I worried about is there's no wrapper on these, so is it going to get all messy on the kids' hands? And when you read about them, it says, let me see, that it's not supposed to transfer onto their hands. Let's read the back. Six mouse shaped wax crayons for painting and playing, robust and stable. Children learn motor skills, playfully ideal for small hands, promotes first painting attempts. Vibrant colors, smooth color application, and do not rub off on hands. We're going to test that too. I can test that. So you get six of them. One of them is purple, my favorite color. Okay. So we get yellow. Let's switch camera screens here now and we're going to test each. So do we look, do we think they look more mouse-like now? I'm still seeing Venetian um, long nose mask. Yeah, I don't get the mouse thing at all. Is yeah. there like, it's supposed to be a tail down there or something? Or? Oh, there's a bit of a tail right there. But I just see the Venetian mask thing. I guess... Those are supposed to be ears right there instead of eyes. Oh, okay. I'm starting to see the mouse. Oh. And then the little eyes are in the middle. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Right there. You see mouse. <laughs> okay. Okay. But here, from this angle, it looks like those Venetian masks. <laughs> okay. So the little kid would grip it like that. Yeah. Or like this, maybe. My hand is just not a little kid hand. We'll see how my little nieces do it next time I see them. Okay, I am going, I have, um, Steve can tell you guys, I have really warm hands. So if mm -hmm. it's going to rub off onto anybody's hands, it'll be mine. Let's do purple, because if I'm going to have any color on my hand, it 
will be purple that I want on my hand. So let's let this one warm up in my hand while we color some colors down. Here's the purple. Let me slide it up into the screen a little better for you. Here's purple. Here's the blue. Okay, here's the red. Here's the green. What haven't we do? <laughs> we haven't done orange yet. Orange. And finally the yellow. Ooh, that yellow's pretty. Okay, so that's the colors that you get off of them. Um, I've got a little bit on my hands, but no more than I would say if I was coloring with regular crayons, you know, with wrappers on them. When you use wrappered crayons, you get stuff on your hands just handling normal crayons. So nothing more than normal, I would say. So yeah, it's when you hold it like this. It's like this part down is the mouse. Here, the yellow one is where you can see it the best. It's this part down. The round ball part is not the mouse. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a cute. bulbous little mouse body. Yeah. It's cute now. Now that I'm seeing it the right way and not as a Venetian mouse. It's cute. Okay. Very cute. All right. So those are the cool little crayons that they have offered. Um, let me see. They are on Amazon for $10.24 regularly, but right now for all of you guys, my viewers, Pelican is offering you guys a coupon, and I believe they're offering it for $8.19 right now. You can get a set of these cute little um, crayons for your little kids, nieces, nephews, grandkids to try out. So um, go check it out. Go try them out and see what you think. I'm going to let my um, little nieces try them and see how they do it. I'm really curious to see what they'll do, how they'll hold them. Will they hold it this way? Will they hold it this way? I'm really curious to see how they'll pick it up and how they'll use it. So that'll be a fun experiment. Janelle's curious how they feel compared to regular crayons, wax-wise. Um, about the same as a regular crayon. Um, I guess I could have you go grab a Crayola crayon. Yeah. I've got that little carousel of them over there. So I'll have Steve grab a crayon and we'll try them and see. They feel like regular crayons to me. Um, yeah, I think it's the shape is what is the most special part, most unique part of these crayons here. Here's a couple Crayola crayons that Steve grabbed me. And they feel maybe a little harder. Let's go the other way. Yeah, they're a little harder. But like that yellow, of course, that's a kind of a, a, a wimpy yellow. So, so the pelicans are harder? I think they're a little harder. Um, a harder wax is my first impression than these um, Crayolas. Yep. So I would say these are a harder wax than just a standard crayon, which would make sense. They would need to be a little bit harder. So, yep, that's my first impression. I'll have my nieces try it and I'll let you know what I find out about them. So that's pretty cool. I like them. I think they're a cool idea. Okay, let's slide these. I think I'll hurry and put them back in their package so we can kind of keep them here where I can show them again in a minute. So we've seen their graphite pencils now, which I was surprised by. And now we get to go into the color pencils. And remember, we're going to be giving away a 12 set of the color pencils. And there's a link to our website where you can go and enter for the giveaway for the 12 set of the color pencils. So let me slide these back into the package too and clean up our space so we can dive into 
the killer pencils and these are the two packages they sent me now when I was on the Amazon site and you put in pelican color pencils several sets come up the 12 and the 24 are the first sets that come up and these both are are triangle shaped color pencils now there's a 36 set that comes up and those were hexagonal shape and then there was also let me see I think I wrote down um, there was a 12 set that came up that was a bicolor, so it's actually 24 different colors, just 12 pencils that came up. And then there were also some jumbo pencils that came up that was a 12 set of jumbo pencils that came up. So they have a lot of different pencils in their um, lineup of pencils, Pelican does. But it seems to me that these are the ones that they are promoting the most right now because they, like a lot of them had um, shipping that you had to tack on. So um, like for instance, the 36 set of hexagonal pencils were only $12, but there was an additional $11 shipping that you had to tack on on top of it where these ones, they didn't have shipping tacked on on top. It was just part of the Amazon shipping program. So if you, you know, either you have Amazon Prime and you don't have to pay shipping or, you know, if you purchase a certain amount, then shipping is included kind of deal. So um, I think these are probably the best deal right now for the Pelican color pencils, especially with the discount coupons that Pelican has provided for you guys. So the prices on these two right now, the 24 set, let me make sure I'm giving you the right prices here. Yep. The 24 set is only 1086 regularly. And with the coupon they've given you right now, they're only $8 and 69 cents. And then the 12 pack is regularly $9 and 24 cents, but they're giving you a 50% off coupon right now, dropping this down to 462 right now for the 12 set. So pretty cool. So let's crack into them and see what they are like. Okay, let me switch camera views and I'm going to zoom back out a little bit so you can see. I've got, they do leave because they don't have wrappers on them. Those Pelican crayons, wherever you set them, they are going to leave little crayon marks. Just a little heads up. I've got little crayon marks everywhere now on my white paper. <laughs> but that's okay, it's there for kids anyway. Okay, so here is the 24 pack. On the back, again, you can see we've got lots of different languages because these are coming in from Germany. Here is our English section right here. It says color pencils, bright colors, soft tracing. Now on Amazon, they talk about the lead inside is 3.0 millimeter. They are a triangular in shape, as you can see. Um, they talk about them being break resistant and that they have intensive color. That's what the Amazon um, site talks about. They also indicate here that they're supposed to be soft. So we're going to see. Let's check them out. Okay, come on out. Okay, here's the first one. That's the pencil there. It says Pelican. It comes pre-sharpened, which is nice. Get it into the screen for you. And the end is open, so that's nice. We can see um, if the core has been centered nicely. I like that when pencils are open on the end. And that looks good to me. Looks good and centered. No color indication on it, Steve. Like no color name. Hmm. There's the yellow. Sort of a tannish color here. Let's bring them all out. Now I think there should be a white. Oh yeah, good. There's a white. I'm kind of bummed that there's no color names. Ooh, but there's a purple. OK, 
Okay, got several browns in there. That's good. Some greens. Let's put all those greens together. Okay. Let's see what else we can find here. Oh, the box has sort of um, got some channels in it to hold the pencils in in straight. That's why they're not um, tipping over inside. Okay, sort of a bluish purple. Okay, so if we get all these, that's kind of in the brown family, so let's slide this down and put the gray and the black down here. Maybe we'll move white down here. That looks pretty good as far as in color families. Maybe this purple right there. I'm gonna kind of make it so you can see how many blues you get, how many greens you get, how many browns, that kind of thing. So you can see what to expect if you decide to order the 24 set of Pelican pencils. And it looks like if you order the 12 set, uh, I think you get a black, but you don't get a white. Let's take a peek. I won't use these ones because these are the ones that we're going to be giving away in the giveaway, so I don't want to use somebody's pencils. But I do want to show you, if you order the 12 set, what to expect. So let me pour them out a bit here. I'm trying to be gentle with the box. I don't want to hurt somebody's box. <laughs> don't want to hurt your box. Okay. Come on. Yeah, you get a black. Come on. Black, a brown, a couple greens. Um, a couple blues, a purple, a pink. This peachy um, tan color, a red, an orange, and a yellow. That's what you get in the 12 set. Okay, let's check out our pencils here. All right, why don't we start with the white and check it out over here on, I have a little spot on this page over here where we can test out the white and see how it does. looks pretty average white. We'll compare it to a couple other whites here so you can see. That's white from Pelican. Here is a polychromo white. Polychromos. <clears throat> May likes that the 12 set has peach color. Yeah. You don't often see that. There's what the polychromos white looks like. So you have a comparison. And here is a Prismacolor white. Okay, so um, it's hard for white to do, you know, we're talking about a big price jump here in whites, right? And we've done an entire video in the past on whites, but I just want to show you um, the price difference. I mean, the quality difference in white, so you can get an idea of what you're getting with the Pelican pencils. It's, um, it's hard to just, when you see one swatch, to know what the difference is. So that's why I give you a few different pencils to look at there. So that's the white. Okay, let's bring this back down here, our big row. Slide it over and bring our worksheet back. Okay. So it's asking us, is there color info on the pencil? We're going to put no. I haven't been able to find any light fast info. 
do the pencil exteriors match the swatches? I haven't done any swatches yet, so let's just do a few quick swatches and see if the paint lacquer they picked matches the pencils. That one looks good. Do the yellow. That looks good. Let's random pick a green. That one may be a little on the light side, but not bad. It's not so far off that we would be like, whoa, what's going on? That one looks good. Uh, let's do a brown. That one looks good too. Okay, so far swatching them, they look good as far as matching the exterior of the pencil. That one's a little off, I would say. Um, the tone is off. It's a different, like this is more of a bluish pink. Uh, this is a different color lacquer, so maybe a few of them might be off. So, but that's pretty normal. You guys know that. That's why we all swatch our, our tools anytime they come in to us. We swatch everything because but you know, that was only, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Out of the six I swatched, only one I felt like was a different tone than what the exterior really was. So what is that percentage, Steve? One out of six. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do math. So I'm going to say um, the exterior is average as far as matching. It does average job at it. Okay, good. Ray really liked that light green and the purple. Yeah, these two right here, really pretty colors. Okay, so let's get into it. So let's do some serious swatching and testing here and see how they act and how they run. I've got my tools handy here. I've got everything we need at Color Wheel so we can do our matching and picking of the right colors so we can be consistent. When you go onto my website, every time I test a set of colored pencils, I try to be as consistent as possible so that you can go and see, well, how do the Pelican pencils uh, compare to the Erogeton pencils or the Prismacolor pencils? Then you can go and compare worksheet to worksheet and see for yourself how you think they compare um, from test to test. So that's why I have certain things like this um, color wheel to help me pick the closest yellow to yellow. And I do it the best I can. Like in a 24 set, there's only certain yellows that are available. So I'll just pick a yellow that I'm given and we'll go for it and use that yellow. If I have a 150 set, then this really comes in handy. I can really dial in the closest yellow that is possible. So that's why I have the color wheel here. And I've got all the other same tools here that I use from color pencil set to color pencil set. Speaking of color pencil reviews, we do have more coming up very soon. Like I have the Black Widow pencils we'll be doing soon. Um, I have another set that just came in of mechanical color pencils that I will be reviewing very soon. So make sure you have subscribed and hit that bell notification button so you know when I'm on and hopefully we'll be doing these on a much more regular basis now that I've got my art studio set up and my camera set up. We can sit down and do these reviews much more frequently. So let's sit down and get this going. So do the, uh, how much are they regularly? Regularly, this 24 set is $10.86. Okay, so in this circle right here, we're going to test the black value. Like I've said before, one of my um, things I look for is uh, what the black that they give you. Is it a good black? Um, I don't want a black that is sort of grayish. I want a black that is a good true black. So I'm going to build up the black, really burnish it in here, and then we'll use this um, scale that they've given me on my color wheel to see how true of a value of a black it is. So we'll lean in here and push down really good and see when I burnish it in, did they give us a really good black? I've had some color pencil sets that the black they give you feels like a gray. And I don't know about you guys, but when I reach for a black, I want it to be a really dark color. 
or that's you know like you're coloring in the eye of a critter or something and you want that black to be really good and dark so we're going to test the black they gave us that's what this circle is for okay also a good thing about all these tests i do it's going to give me a feel for the the hardness of the core of the pencil, the way the pencil feels in my hand. This is a triangle shaped pencil, so uh, it's a little bit of a different experience than most of my pencils. So that's a fun thing to discover. I also get to see how many crumbs come off of the pencil. All these things are what we're going to be watching for while I'm doing all these little tests. Okay, there we've got, I think I got it colored in pretty good and now um, we'll test it this set did come with a gray which is pretty cool you know you don't get grays too often in a small set yeah so that's pretty fun and is this another gray no that's a really dark brown so that's pretty cool I'm happy about that gray they gave me okay now we can slide this in under here like this and you can see, I'm gonna bring it up and move it in the light a bit, because I can see it better, I think, here in the studio than you guys can see on the camera. And I can kind of check and see which value I think it should have, whether it's a value one, value two, value three, whatever. Obviously, it's not a value four or a value five. Let me see which light. But I don't think that it's a value one black. I'd say it's it's hanging closer to a value two black. It's, it's not the blackest black I've ever colored with. So I'm going to say that it's more of a value two black. So, oh, and it's really a little dusty. So let's see, I'm going to say value two next to it. Okay, now we're going to do a little erasing test here. Let me grab a, we're going to need a brush here to keep the crumbs from making a big old mess. See if all the pencils are crummy like this. Okay, this is just a cosmetic paintbrush I picked up really cheap at Walmart and it works good for removing um, crumbs of color pencils. It lifts them up and moves them away without making a big streaky mess. So better than my warm hand. <laughs> okay, now we're going to test the erasability of these pencils. Now color pencils are not necessarily supposed to be erasable, but we like to have them erasable because we all make mistakes, right? So I always test their erasability. <laughs> Oh dear, and I never remember which color. I need to write that right here, which color to use for the erasing test. So it's consistent from test to test. We're gonna do red today. So I'm gonna do a heavy pressure at the top and we'll go down to the lighter pressure down here and try erasing it. And see what we get. So has anybody on here ever had the Pelican pencils yet? Or is this new to everyone watching? Has anyone said they have these pencils, Steve? Uh, no, nobody said that yet. Yeah. Sounds like they uh, sent them to Ann Siggers at A Colorful Life. Oh I yeah. Think she's done a review of them. That's great. I, um, the triangle pencils are a bit of a, um, a challenge for me and it makes me realize how much I twist and turn my pencils. <laughs> um, we've talked about this before on my channel that I'm constantly turning my pencils to bring up the, the next most pointy part of the lead <laughs> and I just do it naturally without thinking. Um, but when you have a triangle pencil in your hand, it's like, huh, <laughs> to turn it to the next part. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, you have to really like you, push it, it over. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I'm very self, 
aware of how much I'm having to push it to get to the next part. Okay, here I've got my um, Factice Black 18. I think these are by General is the brand. Uh, this is one of my favorite pen erasers for color pencils. And this is consistently the eraser I use from um, uh, review to review. And we're just going to go straight up the middle, back and forth a little bit and see how it lifts. Red is like notoriously the one of the hardest ones to erase. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so far those who've commented haven't had them except for Jerry Ann. She's she oh, yeah. awesome. Well, you'll have to comment and tell us what you think. Okay, we got it to lift, so that's good. Of course, we didn't expect it to be totally gone because this is color pencil here, not like graphite where you expect to be able to erase it totally. But we were able to lift quite a bit. So if you wanted to create a highlight on something or erase the majority of a mistake, I think you could accomplish that with um, these pencils. So that's awesome. Okay, let's get these eraser crumbs out of our way. Okay, let's move to the next test, which we're going to come right here and do the core usage test, which I like to use brown for. Okay, let's use this pretty brown right here. Um, move all these up here. Okay, the core usage test is going to test um, a couple things for us. The first thing we're testing here is to see um, how fast we use up this tip of the pencil. So we're going to go over that square. It's a two inch square, two inch by two inch square. We're going to go over it three times. Once light pressure, once medium pressure, and then once we're just gonna lean in and do a good burnishing heavy pressure. Can we do all three layers without having to sharpen this pencil? That's the question. Um, sometimes with some pencils, it feels like you use it up faster than other pencils, and that's the, the question we're going to answer. This is also going to give me a good feel of how this pencil lays down. Is it soft? Is it hard? That kind of thing. We're also going to be sharpening it before we begin, and we're going to sharpen it at the end as well. And that's going to give us a good sharpening test with this pencil. So that's the purpose of this two inch square right here. I've got my Coom sharpener, which is the pencil sharpener we use from test to test. So that's consistent as well. Um, these are a really good sharpener. This isn't going to do much sharpening because this pencil's already pretty sharp, but we're going to bring it to a nice sharpening anyway. Uh, remember whenever you use this kind of sharpener, you turn the sharpener and you hold your pencil still. That's the technique. So we'll just make sure we're at a good sharp point. Oh, oh. It's a triangular pencil, so sometimes it can be a little tricky. There, it feels sharp already. Oh, pretty. Look at that point we got. So that's a question people always ask. Can you bring it to a good point? And that's a good deathly stab them in the side <laughs> kind of point there. <laughs> so yes, we got a good point. <laughs> Steve's giving me a look like you're going to scare what everyone. <laughs> okay, and away we go. So during this long part, go ahead and ask me any of your color pencil questions. We can get um, some questions. Do you questions. have Spectrum Noir pencils? I, I do. Oh, okay. I've, Javed said like to see the Spectrum Noir. I've got interviews. two sets. I've got the Coloristas and I've got the, are they the color blend? The ones that come oh, in the tin, right. in yeah. the tins. Yeah. Um, like I've said, we've been um, really slacking on our color pencil reviews. Um, partly because we haven't had the cameras set up in a really good um, way that I could just sit down and record. The other thing is we were trying to do um, really high production on these reviews. Music, edits, um, color along areas. Um, I mean, we were doing high production on the first few of these reviews. 
And we just can't do that if we're going to get through all these color pencils. Hours each video. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there's the first layer of the, the light layer. I'll rotate it. You can see how much has come off the tip. We've got plenty of pencil tip left. Okay, that's light layer. You can see how it looks in that two inch by two inch square. I'll just rotate it a bit and we're going to do medium pressure now um, for the second layer. Yolanda says she loves the triangular pencils, but doing the spin is a pain. Yeah. Uh, and you know, you work really hard to train yourself to do that spin. Um, it's kind of a trick in the beginning when you first see, see those artists and they te tell you you need to learn that spin. So then you, you go to all the work to train yourself to do that spin. And then you pick up a triangular pencil and you're like, oh, now this is really hard. <laughs> so, okay, I'm doing the medium pressure now. Um, this is going to also show us some pencils just don't like to layer. And there's a difference between blending and layering. So we're going to learn some pencils love to blend and hate to layer and vice versa. So we're going to learn about that with these pencils too, with all these little tests. Okay. This is about when my hand starts to get mad at me. And I think, why did I come up with this test? <laughs> such a good test though to see if how much of the core you use okay make sure it's pretty even with this layer here did I get everything that looks pretty good okay let's take a break and see where we're at still have quite a bit of tip left hopefully we can get the third layer done without having to sharpen that's the question mm. will we do it steve okay burnishing layer <laughs> take a deep breath huh? let's stretch the hand we were talking about stretching the hand last time right <laughs> let's take a stretch break oh we can do this rose is moaning over there for me <laughs> here we go okay third layer is the burnishing layer Steve, here is your quiz. What does it mean to burnish with color pencil? It means... <laughs> <laughs> See if he's been listening for the last year. <laughs> to, I know that it's hard pressure, mm -hmm. and basically you are filling in all of the peaks and valleys of the paper, <gasps> crushing the crushing the tooth basically Whoa. so that by the time you're done it's it's all filled in and you wouldn't really be able to layer on top of that once you're done whoa <laughs> that was really good i'm thinking you can commentate my my videos from here on out that was really good that was exactly what burnishing with color pencils means okay we're working. This is hard work, people. Whew. I haven't done burnishing with color pencil in a while. I think I'm out of shape. And I, I'm not being very, I'm kind of, this is hard work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can do it. We can do it. We're about a little more than halfway. We can do it really wearing you out, huh? It really is today. I, I think my wrists are a little mad today. I'm, I'm doing it for science. I'm doing it for all of you out there. Cheer me on, people. <laughs> Uh-oh, I just hit wood. Okay, rotate. Nancy says the Pelican pencils and also the bottle of black ink for dip pens were really big with high school art teachers in the 70s. Well, I noticed that when I was on Amazon, a ton of ink and um, fountain pens came up. So they are really big into inks and fountain pens. So that's cool that they've been around that long. Oh, oh. 
well I'm just like really rotating now I'm like having to hold the pencil almost straight to get as much of the core as possible we can do it we can make it to the end fill in a few blank spots <laughs> May says who needs workouts when you come <laughs> no kidding I should have the the hand and wrist strength of a gorilla. I don't know why a gorilla. <laughs> they probably do have strong hand and wrist strength. Though. <laughs> okay, I think I made it. I think we did it. Holy cow. I was worried we wouldn't make it. Look at that. How much is left? I went all the way to the wood. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> But we did it. We got it to totally cover the entire square. Nice. Okay, so I, and it is pretty dusty. We're getting a lot of, as the makeup artists call it, fallout. Mm. That's my new term I'm learning with my makeup knowledge I'm getting. Janelle asked if the core is as hard as it seems. It's not very soft. Um, the box says soft, soft, and it's not the softest pencil I've ever used. Um, so no, it's not very soft. Not like a, a Prismacolor. Um, what I'll probably do here in a minute is have Steve grab me some Crayolas and I'll just kind of test side by side and give you guys a feel if I feel like it's about like a Crayola or not. I'll, you know, you kind of forget is what a Crayola feels like because it's been so long since I've colored with a Crayola. So we'll do that here in a minute and I'll give you a feel for what I think it feels closer to. So, but it's definitely not as soft as a Prismacolor, but we're totally in a different class here. This is, you know, comparing apples to oranges, right? So, but I will try to give you as close of a comparison as possible so you can know what to expect. So. Let's sharpen it now and see if we how much work is it now to bring it back to a nice point. Um, especially where it's a triangle um, pencil, I want you to watch and see what the experience is sharpening a triangle pencil so you can see what that is like. May says it's too bad it's just the right arm that gets all the work out. You have no. only one gorilla arm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm going to be really lopsided. Seems like there was a SpongeBob SquarePants like that once, where it was like a his one arm was really, really muscly and the other was weak. Seems like there was a SpongeBob <laughs> about that. Okay, as you can see, this is what it's like to sharpen a triangular pencil if you've never had them before. Whoa! Oh! Sorry. Luminaria uh, likes to crochet, and she was saying, uh, you think this type of art is really expensive, like for the paper and Copics and Prismas and stuff like that, um, compared to, like, crochet. I don't know. When I was crocheting, whenever I would go to buy my yarn, I had pretty expensive taste in yarn. <laughs> and um, yarn can get pretty pricey, so... Pencils, once you buy a set of pencils, they last pretty long time. Copic markers are really pricey, but you can buy less expensive markers like you've seen me do some reviews here on this site lately comparing like the Cali Arts and the Ohuhus. I mean, and you can buy just um, Crayola markers and color with Crayola markers and have a really fun, good experience. So... Yes, you can come in and spend a ton of money and um, blow your budget pretty fast. Or you can go and buy some really inexpensive supplies. Um, you could sign up um, for my premium membership for five bucks and have access to over 450 coloring pages and just print them at home and do your own thing for not too much money too. So there's lots of in-betweens. I know at the Dollar Tree, um, they have coloring books for a buck too. Of course, the paper is pretty wimpy and not the best, but it gives you a place to start. So um, like any art, you can spend a small fortune or you can just spend a small amount of money. In fact, Dollar Tree has some awesome gel pens. Some of my favorite gel pens you can get at Dollar Tree. So yeah, it's really up to you. And my mom just went to, um, was it Idaho? Is that yeah. where they were? And she got to visit an alpaca farm where they were selling... Oh, Colorado, yeah. 
Oh, Colorado. And they were selling alpaca yarn. And she bought a couple skeins. And those were really expensive, but beautiful and super, super soft and luxurious. And she's going to crochet those too. So like I said, any hobby, I think you could, um, if you wanted to spend a small fortune on, and, or you can be really thrifty and buy the red heart yarn and, and do a really thrifty thing too. So yeah. <laughs> okay, we got this pencil back to a beautiful point. This is what your shavings look like when you shave a triangular pencil. I think they are so pretty. They're all um, scalloped and pretty and fun. I, of course, I kind of am obsessed with shavings. So <laughs> anyway, that is our test of core usage. So I would say the core usage is pretty average to maybe a little high. I've, I've had some pencils where by the time you're done with your square, you still have enough that you could keep coloring. So we used all the way down to the wood on this one. Okay, we're gonna move over to blending three colors. For this, we need to pick out a red, orange, and yellow. So I'm gonna grab my um, wheel here and we're going to try to pick um, the best red, orange, and yellow. Let me swatch that this was the brown we used up here. Tanya and Elizabeth both mentioned they bought the coloring book and they love it. Oh, they thank you. I appreciate that. Tanya bought a grayscale and she's a little nervous about it. We need to do a full video on grayscale. And I think I say this every time someone says something about grayscale, but I think Anne over on A Colorful Life has done some coloring on grayscale. And over in our group, maybe Steve can put a link to our coloring group. There's been some pretty good coloring over there. Um, done with grayscale and they can give you some advice right away in the meantime. So I picked this yellow here because it's really good match to my color wheel. Now we need orange for the next part. I'm guessing this orange. Steve's always, oh this one, I don't know. We've got a couple oranges here to pick from Steve. Let's get this page over here. Come on. Oh. This mat makes it hard to pick things up. Okay, we've got this orange and we've got this orange. Oh, that one's way yellow orange. See that? The mm. outside lacquer is a little different than... Yeah, definitely yellow orange. Yeah, so, and this one is coming out to be quite a, a bright orange, but I think it's going to be our best bet in this small set. But we can look. There's this orange she That's a real word. Oh, I don't know. Okay, those are the three orange colors I have to pick from that Steve. One's a little more orange red, that top one. Huh? Yeah, because yep, then like we go, go with the one. This middle one. Yeah. Okay. This will be our orange selection. Color this one in here so I know what I picked. And then we need the red. And we've got a couple here to choose between, which I think is this one and this one. Oh, whoa, that one goes way to a pink place. So I think that first one is our best red. Okay. I didn't even ask you for advice on that one. Okay, that's the red we're going to go for. Okay, thank you, Color Wheel, for helping us. Oh, Elizabeth says, I love the quality of your books. Uh, thank oh. you, Jennifer, I love your books. Thank you. I wanted to make sure when we did our print shop that we offered you guys a really awesome um, product with really good paper. So I'm glad you're liking it. Okay, this test right here is a blend three colors using Jennifer's rule of blending thirds. And yes, I did name a blending rule after myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jennifer's rule of blending thirds. We color the entire rectangle with the lightest color first, which is yellow. Then we come in with the mid-tone, which is orange. This is all light, medium-ish pressure. Um, 
two thirds of the square now is going to be done in orange. This is not a blending um, rule that I discovered or um, created. created. I just, um, I guess, created the teaching method um, and the videos, so that's why I got to name it after myself. <laughs> so there's the orange lay down. This test here is going to see how these blend. Like I said, um, some pencils like to blend better than others. This also is a good layering test because we're going to have a lot of layers by the time we're done here. The last third of the rectangle gets the deepest tone, which is the red. We're not doing heavy pressure. This is light pressure and we don't want to burnish, at least not yet. Rose is snoring again. So what we want to see is how well does this, these pencils kind of stack on top of each other. When I color, I, I do a lot of layering to get the tones and um, the effects I want. And so I want a good pencil that's going to layer well. Luminaria asked, do you think Crayola blend well? They do surprisingly good. Crayola is a really good option. Um, my favorite for layering, um, Polychromos will layer like for days. Polychromos are amazing for layering. Okay, I think I got rid of all the white down here at this end with light pressure. Okay, now we go back to our orange, go over all two thirds again with our orange. This brings everything together. So the orange and the red and the yellow all come together here. So the idea is by the time we're done, without doing heavy, hard pressure that wears our hands out like we did up here in this core usage, usage test, we can get the same nice take away all the white flex kind of effect without that heavy, hard pressure. And we get a beautiful blend. Light pressure down here so you don't get too many streaks of that orange. Now we're starting to get some more of that fallout, that dust. And finally we get our yellow. Goes over the entire rectangle again. This smooths out all the colors and brings them all together. And that's how you do Jennifer's Rule of Blending Thirds. You can use this on leaves, on flower petals, on skin. It works really good to bring lots of your colors together. It's an awesome technique. Look how pretty, pretty. Now this last layer, I can feel this yellow pencil is slipping now on the top, so that would tell me um, this is probably the last time I could ever layer. I don't even know if this yellow is doing any good at this point. So it's kind of maxed out on layers. But look how pretty. Got a gorgeous blend. Okay, lots of dust. These do seem very dusty. But that's a beautiful blend. Okay. The next one we want to test is to see how they work with odorless mineral spirits. So we need to get a blue in here. So we're going to grab our color wheel and pick a blue now. Oh, I'm thinking this is going to be our blue. It seems like this set is kind of light on the blues. Not very many blues to pick from. 
I think that blue might be our best blue. We'll see here. I don't know. That blue is... I think this is going to go to a blue-violet place. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah that one's nice. Okay, the darker one, Steve? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, so this test says we need the blue and the yellow, and we need our odorless mineral spirits, and we're going to see if we can establish or create a green in the middle, and that's going to give us, oh, I need to mark down what blue I picked up here in my wheel. Oh, and I never marked down the black up here either. And black and there's no metallic so we don't have anything here to put down put that black over here okay come back down here I'm getting messy stuff's going everywhere okay how are we doing on time we've been going over an hour already yeah okay so there are a couple little tests I, we haven't done that I definitely want to do. I don't know if we're going to get to all of these tests over here. Um, I definitely want to try to see if they're visible on black. We haven't done that yet. So we're not going to get to all of them today. This is, like I said, the best we can with the time we have okay now we'll, we're doing just light to medium pressure laying down the two pencils leaving blank leaving just yellow on this end and just blue on the other and then crossing them into the middle and then we'll use the odorless mineral spirits in the middle Blue feels a little bit scratchy. Okay, here we have a bowl and my Gamzol. This is Gamzol is the brand, but it's odorless mineral spirits. You don't have to buy the brand Gamzol. Okay, odorless mineral spirits is um, kind of like paint thinner. And this is a blending stub and we're going to activate it here onto the paper and we should get a beautiful green. What it does is it breaks down the waxes and the fillers of the pencil and leaves behind the pigments. It kind of melts the pigments down into the valleys and, and cracks and crevices of the paper and we should get a pretty green. So if you are the type of colorist that likes to use odorless mineral spirits, I want you to be able to see what to expect with your pencils if you purchase the Pelican pencils. Okay, there's the green we got. They work pretty good. Okay. Now, since we've got red and blue handy, I also want to test and see real quick. Let's see. We'll just do a really quick right here. I want to see how the white works as an overlay to help with blending. I'm not going to be as perfect as usual since we're already over time. Bring them together in the middle. Yeah, that blue is a little scratchy. There's something in that core I keep hitting. Okay, grab the white and let's see if the white will blend these together in the middle. 
some whites will do this blending technique better than other whites. Like the Prismacolor white will do this blending technique so good. The Polychromos white, not so good. And they're both very expensive pencils. So this is a good test just to see if this brand will do it. And this brand is so-so. Kind of, it's not really um, mixing it together and blending it out super great. We're getting a bit of a blend, but not super great. Okay, let's test it now real quick and see if these pencils will be visible if you color on a dark surface. This is handy to know if you do your coloring like with greeting cards or on, you know, colored construction paper or that kind of thing. You'll want to know if your colors are going to show up on those colors. So we need blue, yellow, and red. So let's see if this is a pretty dark blue. I doubt it's going to show up. Nope. That blue, I can see it here, but just a hint of it. Um, yellow It's probably our best bet for it showing up. Hey, that's pretty good, actually. Look at that. Well, it's not too shabby. I'll move it in the light. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera at all here. I can see it pretty good. And there's the red. Hopefully you can see in the light that the yellow actually did decent. Okay. All right, so we don't really have time to do the final two tests. This is more of a layering test, which we've done pretty good with a layering test here as well. And then this we would have tested to see how it um, did with a colorless blender pencil. Um, we just don't have time to do that test right now. So let's go over the final questions here. Really quick, Janelle was just wondering how would you say these compare uh, the hardness uh, of right. it compared to some more well-known pencils. Okay, Crayola. will you grab me uh, the Crayolas and um, I'm trying to think what other brand might be good for you to grab. Um, they're definitely not as soft as the Prismacolor, but that's kind of hard to get anything as soft as a Prismacolor. Grab me a Crayola and I don't know, what else do you want me to... Marco Ruffini? Yeah, a Marco Ruffini would be good. And we'll answer that question right here with the feel of the core and kit. Okay. Here's a Crayola and Steve grabbed the Marco Ruffini. Good choice, Steve. Thanks. You're a good assistant. Okay, <laughs> let's grab a red out of here. It's a good pencil. I grabbed, yeah, good old red. Okay, let's see how that feels. Okay, close your eyes, Jennifer. Experience the Crayola. Crayola. Okay, now I'll grab the red over here. Hmm. Pelican. I think the Crayola is a little softer. Um, I think this is feeling a little silkier and this is a little creamier. <laughs> Shall we use some? Yeah. And I think if I bring it up, you're going to see the difference too. Can you see how this is like filling in the whites of the paper a little bit more? I think that's that silkiness versus a creamier pencil and so I think Crayola's a little softer feeling this is feeling a little harder <laughs> but this is silkier oh dear how do you express the feel of something okay let's try um, Marco Ruffini I'll grab a red out of here this is number 511 Oh, let's get this thing out from underneath it. That'll change the way it feels. OK. 
Okay, that's 511. Okay, let me go back now and feel this. Oh, they feel similar. Uh, there's a similar feeling between the Marco Ruffini and the Pelican. I would say, and go back to the Crayola. Yeah, the Crayola's softer. Here, here's a crazy art. <gasps> Just to be crazy. No, not the crazy arts. Okay, crazy art it is. Oh, this is just horrible. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, crazy art, but you just are not fun. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of what Janelle's wondering uh, as far as hard on your hands wise. Um, crazy art is harder than all of them. Take it away, Steve. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to have offended you. You offended me with that crazy art pencil. Crayola is definitely softer. Pelican is harder. But um, the 511, I would say they're about the same in hardness as a refine, a refine, ref, blah, 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 refine, refine, refine. I got it. <laughs> Phew, that was tricky. <laughs> Yeah, May says now things are just turning wild. Jennifer's going for crazy art. Uh-huh. I'm getting crazy. Let's grab, um, here's a Derwent Pro Color. Let's see what that feels like. Oh, 511 is uh, Marco Ruffini. Oh, is that the, the main number? Well, no, somebody was asking what the 511 oh, was. Oh, 511, name. sorry, is the Marco Ruffini. This one right here. Okay. Uh, this is a Derwent. This is softer than all of them. Derwent Pro Color. You better grab a Prisma too. Oh, uh, I've got a uh, Polychromo. Oh, that's beautiful. <sighs> <laughs> Polychromo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Prisma Color is behind this thingy. Uh. Oh, you already know that it's soft. <laughs> yeah, you guys are going to hear me sigh again. Let's grab a red right here. We'll grab this red for my trios. You ready for another sigh? Of course, like I've said before, this is not very fair. You're going to get my fair lecture here in a second. <sighs> Prisma color. Really soft pencil. Um, and like somebody, some people don't like how soft a Prismacolor is though, so. Okay, there's a whole bunch of reds for you. We need to do another big red showdown. Wouldn't that be fun? I think a red showdown would be fun. Yeah. Okay, here's the fairness lecture. All pencils, this is like apples to oranges to pineapples to bananas comparison, right? They're all made differently, different things inside of them. Some of them are held to different standards than others. Some of them are trying to um, make themselves so that they last for a hundred years. Some of them don't care about that. Some of them just want to be fun for uh, kids to pick up and use in school. Some of them um, are using just totally different manufacturing processes and uh, I mean, we are comparing different things. And so, um, yes, I know you guys want to know how they feel in the hand. And that's why I do bring out all the different brands and let you know what feels like, what feels like, because you want to know. And that's why I do it. And, you know, when I was searching out, trying to learn about these things, I wish someone had done this exact thing for me. So that's why I do it for you. But I do want you to know that Pelican is not the same as Prismacolor. And it's not the same as Polychromos. So it's just totally different, different lands, different countries, different, it's just different. So, um, but it is, Pelican is not as soft as Prismacolor. They're just a different creature. So, um, they're not a super soft pencil. If you're looking for super soft, you're probably coming to the wrong place. They do say on theirs that they are a soft pencil. So, um, maybe that's a little misleading of them to say that they're soft, 
um, compared to crazy art they are definitely softer than a crazy art pencil though so maybe they're comparing themselves to a different line of pencil and that's why they they're calling themselves soft so on the softest softness scale maybe they are softer than some so that's why they're calling themselves soft are they as soft as prismacolor no they're not so if you don't like a soft pencil then maybe you'll like pelican so yeah now you've had my lecture <laughs> I seem to give you guys a, a soliloquy lecture at some point in all of my videos, so we can't end without some sort of soliloquy, an art soliloquy, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I am excited that Pelican has given you guys an opportunity to use their uh, discount coupon. That's super um, generous of them. I think they're maybe the first company that's done a discount coupon with us. So thank you so much, Pelican. And I do have this 12 set of brand new pencils that I haven't touched, experimented with or anything. I did open the package to show you guys what was in it though. So that's the most that I've done with it. And it's open for a giveaway and that giveaway ends May 30th. Follow the link in the video description for your chance to win. I will be adding some bonus coloring pages on my beautiful color pencil paper so you can get coloring with them immediately when you win them. So make sure you get over and enter for that giveaway. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll have Steve scan all of this, all the results, and put it up on the blog so you can look up really close and personal in on the results of all of this. And I'll finish filling out the worksheet. I think I filled it out. Oh, I just need to write my final feelings and notes on them. Basically, my final feelings on the Pelican pencils would be that they are a good average um, run in the middle type line of pencils. They don't wow me as far as quality, but they're not bad either. They're not the worst pencils like um, Crazy Art. Don't waste your money on Crazy Art. Sorry, Crazy Art. <laughs> Uh, buy Crayola before you would buy Crazy Art any day. So Pelican, um, like I said, they've been around for a long time and I think they are making a good mid-range pencil. So that's the word I was trying to find, mid-range, a good mid-range. Steve thinks we need to make a big chart with like um, where I can like score them from like mid-range to high range to low range and you can kind of see like a rainbow of where I think all of these pencils lay on a big old chart. What do you guys think of that? Should I make a big chart like that and try to <laughs> rate them where I think they would land on a range like that? I don't know. I think it would be really hard to put them on a big range like that. But Steve thinks that would be really cool. A big board and we could do a big pins and stick them on there where I think they land. That's what Steve thinks we should do. Yes. So if you think that's a great idea, comment below. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I'm excited to d keep up with these reviews. Um, like I said, I've got more on their way. So make sure you've got those notifications hit and you can join me for the next set of reviews. I think I want to do the scorpions next. Yeah. I think I want to do scorpions. I've got artisas. I've got colorets. I've got um our erogitans we haven't done an official one of these yet with the new set of erogitans i've got um oh i've got so many what's those really expensive ones that we still haven't done an official review on yet luminance the luminance people i want to do those really soon too because oh talk about creamy and buttery that's a whole nother a whole nother <gasps> that's a whole other <laughs> category in and of itself those are pricey so I'm excited to do those too so anyway thanks again Pelican for um, being so generous with my viewers and uh, good luck to the everybody we'll be announcing the winner next Thursday so we'll see you then and make sure you catch me live this coming Wednesday for our weekly live um, event so thanks for your help Steve and we'll see you guys next time have a wonderful colorful blissful day bye bye everybody <laughs> Oh, I got to find the off button. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>